the next moves. So, next moves, interplanetary travel, which I've been talking about for the majority of this episode and not even got close to talking, uh, to actually doing anything about. So the first thing is we are going to need thrusters and we are going to need reinforced thrusters. So um, these ones we can deal with quite easily. And in fact, what I am going to do is actually no there's not it's not really a big node um let's do it elsewhere we don't really need like a, a a dedicated place for thrusters so we don't need to like get a whole new setup um we just need to kind of steal a little bit from one area uh, to start making these thrusters let's see where are we already using copper 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 Ooh, red is moving very slowly. Still got a lot of them, so me just tells me need a bit of an upgrade. There we go. Um, copper. Where are we producing? Okay, here's a little bit of copper. And what's the other thing that we need? Steel. Uh, steel's way over there. Way, way, way over there. So, not ideally located, to be honest. Let's rethink which copper node we're going to open. Got iron being produced, uh, or got iron veins here. teeny tiny bit of copper here. How much is left? Oh, not much at all, so no, we're not using that. Hmm. Not really many good options, in all honesty. Might just have to set up its own little thing. We, we only need tiny bits of copper and tiny bits of iron, so do you know what? Let's uh, Let's do it here. Got the copper here. Iron node relatively close by. Coal. We're already stealing iron from this node for the rings over here, so I don't want to be stealing more iron there. Yeah, the, the iron's already struggling to keep up with demand for this um, super magnetic ring area. So, yeah, we're definitely not stealing from there either. There is some iron over here, though. So, yeah, I think what we'll do... Pop, pop one miner here somewhere. Bit of fine tuning. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Probably as good as it's going to get. Um, so we've got iron coming in from there, which needs to be. Oh, no, because it. To be steel, though. No, we actually need a decent chunk of steel. Hmm. No good options, in all honesty. Let's go and refill on uh, graphite before I get as I can to. Two. And four. That. And the inventory. 
capacity has increased again. Very nice. Uh, let's sort that. Take forever. Okay. Hmm. Just not a lot of good options, in all honesty. Lots of bad options. Um, because we've got our steel production over here. Got no copper nodes this uh, part of the map. More iron there. Mm. There, so we could do more steel production, cause big chunk of iron. I'd rather not do that if uh, I don't have to. Fifty thousand. We need to use for that. Do you know what? It's it's gonna have to be this. It's gonna have to be stolen from this. Really not what I've ideally wanted to uh, to do there, but need must. Can't see any other good options. Um, right, I'm gonna quickly destroy that and expand this. Ever so slightly. Over there. Just get this set up so it's starting to produce some copper. Now got no copper overflow though. Let's do that over here. Oh, damn it. I 
it's starting to fill. Good. Um, this is completely stopped. So actually, do you know what? Since that is constantly moving anyway, let's remove all of that and change that round. Should really put the overflow here. All of this is the the, the whole um, mall has just stopped dead because it's produced everything that it can based on the limits I've provided for it. So that's good. Um, right. For the oh yeah, we now need to need to get more of the um, P two. Units going. Go and collect some assemblers from mall. Graphene from here. Should be good for now. So we want to produce let's let's do two just to be on the safe side and we can we can downsize later. So if it's um, yeah, we don't really need to like mass produce these thrusters. Just need some. You know? So let's uh, get the steel into the system. So these are going to be producing the mini thrusters. Long way around, let's just copy and paste. Uh, get power in there, and we're out of power pole, so let's just quickly return to the mall. Uh, we're out of stack. Cool. Uh, we really don't need many of these, so let's just really limit it. Okay, that's the mini thrusters getting going. Um, we then need the reinforced thrusters. And to do those, we need a new material, which is titanium alloy. Um, so we... Uh, we're going to have to do another titanium rump. What is the going to require us to do. Uh, so let's cut. You know what? I will I, I will get the kind of um, I'll get the infrastructure set up, but I will go and do all of the, the running to another planet on uh, on a uh, off cam session. You don't you don't need to see me flying through space. <laughs> it's uh, it's not overly interesting. So uh, let's get the, 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 the logistics of it set up. So um, to produce this, we need the titanium, we need steel, and we need sulfuric acid. So we've got sulfuric acid and uh, the ti so the titanium boxes are here. Sulfuric acid is stored here. So we would need a steel, a new steel setup over here somewhere um it's, it's just too far the, like the, the existing steel setup that we have is just too far away to have to bring it all the way over 
But as it turns out, there is bugger all in the way of uh, iron. Some there, but that's just as far away as the uh, the current steel setup. The current steel setup is here. In fact, it's further away. <laughs> I mean, we could, um, how many, got one miner powering that, so, uh, yeah, I don't think, I, I don't see another option, so let's get a new steel set up, but we'll build it off of this node instead, we will have two miners this time, so we can use more of it. Um, okay. So, that we had, so ingots and ah, okay so um for this one what we want is slightly different setup we'll want the line into this side Then the smelter into the opposite smelter. Similar to what we did before for Ooh, I can't even remember what it was, but yeah, we did we did a very similar setup earlier for um, another material. And then the steel will be output there. Let's do a little bit of an overflow here. Oh. We also want output to do Just make sure that everything's powered up. We want iron ingots on this side. Steel side. Just missing power. Do the miners. Cool. Check that that line is getting fully saturated. Which it is. Good. Uh, right. We then need to bring that steel all the way over here somewhere. Yeah, we've got the sulfuric acid here. I suppose actually we could bring the sulfuric acid down, steel to here, and then what was the final product? Oh, the titanium. Titanium is being stored here. Bring it that way, maybe. Or just have a, sec a new titanium store to avoid all of that. Yep, yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> Not overly complicate things. Um, Great, so let's do it this way. Ooh, we have got two oil wells here. Oh, look at what I've just found. <laughs> A more convenient location for iron. Uh, let's say it's done now. I'm not, not redoing it. Um, Hmm. 
Again, we don't need a massive facility for this new product. A huge. That's less than ideal. This way. Yeah, cool. Final thing would be titanium, which we will just uh, easy just to put storage system for titanium like here and uh, so to produce that new product which uh, which building does it require should have probably checked that earlier uh, a chemical facility camp yeah, I've not really left enough space, so let's rethink that slightly. Um, chemical facilities where are you there you are do we'll do three of these Almost out of conveyors, so let's that problem quickly. We have almost. Oh, hold on. No. What's going on? Was I looking at the wrong material? I think I was. Where is it? 
melting facility. So, yep, that was a waste of time. Let's get rid of that and that and that. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. So, yep, yeah, that and that. Yeah, it's a smelting facility. I knew it seemed strange to me that it was um, a chemical facility. I must have been looking at plastic by, by mistake. Um, uh, do you know what? I kind of want it on this side as well. that again <laughs> um so uh, 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 there and there uh, e3's distance will be due titanium alloy pop that across to those three okay that's that new product set up we just need to go and collect some titanium from the other planet to get that rolling um so we needed that titanium so that we can produce the reinforced thrusters um so thinking we'll get a new facility going for these electromagnetic turbines um, but you don't need to see me build that again because you've already seen me build it once so um, I am going to do the a couple of bits off camera before next session um, it's yeah we've been, been going for two and a half hours now which is like a long time for a game like Dyson Sphere where it's just kind of lots of little chunky little bits and pieces so I think we'll call it quits there for this evening. Um, I hope you found some of this useful, um, particularly uh, so setting up yellow uh, cubes is what we started with and then kind of um, doing a few upgrades around uh, the base with uh, getting here to pr uh, processors go in. Um, then a complete overall of our power system, which has been the majority of this episode. And now we're starting to think about uh, interplanetary logistics. So we've We've got some bits and pieces starting to get set up for that. Um, it is, there's a lot, a lot of moving parts to it though. So it's going to take